It's been a very difficult year to, to say the least for our organization, um, for the member agencies that we work with, and, and especially for our community members. As we continue to combat the COVID-19 pandemic, the province continues to fight another crisis, food insecurity. It's an issue that has led to record high visits at food banks such as North York Harvest. It's been about a 50% increase year over year. So in the last 16 months, we've served about uh, 320,000 people. Uh, whereas in that same time period in a pre-COVID, it would have been more around 200,000. The Daily Bread Food Bank broke a record in June with more than 124,000 clients using its services. Organizers tell City News if current usage rates continue, they project about 1.4 million visits in 2021. This would be the most food bank visits recorded in the city's history. It hasn't been an easy feat being able to, uh, to make sure that the food required in this emergency situation is delivered, um, but the team, the volunteers have stepped up to the plate and made that happen. Aside from the countless volunteers that help at both organizations, community members have stepped up as well through financial and food donations. Hetherington says there is one more way people can help. They can advocate for systemic change. We all know why people have to come to food banks. It's because poverty and income are uh, dramatic in this city and dramatic problems in this city. And, uh, and we need to, uh, to, to deal with it. So addressing the systemic cause. So writing a letter to your counselor, to your MPP, to your MP, to advocate for the change that we need to see so that the lineups outside of the food bank start to slow down. If you'd like to find out how to access services or give support, you can head to NorthYorkHarvestFoodBank.com or DailyBread.ca or the local food bank website in your area. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.